to new developments night surrounding dozens of guns stolen from the sheriff's office. One of them used in this dramatic shootout that shut down the I-17 for nearly an entire day. The Maricopa County Sheriff suddenly holding an emergency news conference after the ABC 15 investigators asked questions about this bombshell development. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez is joining us live. And Nicole, these weapons were actually stolen several years ago, but many of them are still out there. Yes, yeah, Stephen, these are high powered, deadly weapons, and clearly some of them are getting into the wrong hands. More than two dozen of them may still be on the street. Sheriff Pinzone tonight admitting this incident is part of a much larger issue, one his department has not spoken publicly about until today. The fact that any dangerous individual in our community can acquire, possess and use fully automatic weapons is unacceptable and intolerable. A problem that's plagued the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office for almost a decade, coming to light after this shootout on I-17 Monday. The suspect, Arnaldo Caraveo, fired at Valley officers with one of two guns in his car that were taken from MCSO. The lack of disciplines that occurred in this organization from leadership and the impact that it's had on the men and women is is unforgivable. These two of 29 total weapons the department says were stolen likely over a five year period from 2010 to 2015. We could not confirm the last time they were actually documented in the possession of an employee within this organization. Penzone really hammering down on former Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his administration. He says the lack of proper methods to keep track of those weapons happened during his tenure. The root of that problem listed in this audit from 2016 saying MCSO had no standards for physical security of firearms, no process of keeping track of which officers are assigned which weapons. The problem so bad, the Department of Defense even stripped the agency of some military weapons given to them under a government program. There was little at best oversight of practices within the organization of how we issued, tracked and recovered weapons was unacceptable. We reached out to our Pio tonight. He said he only, quote, vaguely remembered there were some weapons unaccounted for and said he's certain his staff looked into it and took whatever action necessary. Penzone also mentioning one of those 29 weapons could have been used in another unspecified Valley crime. Since the audit, Penzone says the department has made significant changes to their weapons policies. All weapons upon receipt after purchase go to our property room now so that they can be inventoried. After they're inventoried and documented, they are assigned to individuals, not to areas. Now, under those new policies, deputies could face discipline if they misplace any of their weapons, and that could include suspension. Now, we are going to be staying on top of this story every step of the way and bring you every new piece of information we discover. Live in downtown Phoenix tonight, I'm Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.